the present simple tense. When making sentences in the present simple tense, we use the subject, which is the person, the object, or the animal, the verb, which is the action, and the complement. For example, this is me, and I have a guitar. I play the guitar. I, in purple, is a subject. Play is the verb. And the guitar in green is the complement. Another example would be a boy. He watches a movie. He is a subject. Watches is a verb. And a movie is a complement. Are you ready for some conjugations? Let's do this. In the present simple tense, let's use the verb play. When making sentences in the positive form, we say, I play, you play, he plays, she plays, it plays, we play, you play, and they play. As you can see in the third person, he, she, and it, we add an S at the end of the verb. He plays, she plays, it plays. For making sentences in the negative form, we use the auxiliary don't and doesn't. I don't play, you don't play, he, she, it doesn't play. We don't play, you don't play, they don't play. If you notice, in the case of he, she, it, the third person, we use the auxiliary doesn't. She doesn't play. For making questions, we use the auxiliaries to do and does. At the beginning of the question, do I play, do you play, does he play, does she play, does it play, do we, you, they play? In the case of the third person, we use the auxiliary does at the beginning. Does she play? Let's keep talking about the auxiliaries do and does. Do, don't in negative, does, doesn't in negative too. I don't play the guitar. She doesn't play the guitar. Now let's do some questions. Do you play the guitar? If you notice, the auxiliary verb do is at the beginning. And you answer as the following. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. In the case of the third person, we say does she play the guitar and we answer yes she does or no she doesn't now when do we use the present simple tense when talking about habits i always drink coffee when talking about future timetables or schedules the train arrives at noon or in general facts or truths. For example, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Now, review time. Here we have some exercises so you can add an S or an ES to the verbs at the end. We also have the questions we do or does, so you can answer with a yes or a no. Are you ready? I'm sure you'll do fine. Good job. Bye-bye.